What's up, YouTube? If you're new here, make sure to go ahead and like and subscribe for me. This video might run on a little longer than most, but it's really important that you watch all the way through. The e-collar is a fantastic training tool. The downfall is a lot of people use it in a negative way. They use it as a punishment tool. And that's, that's not how it's meant to be used, in my opinion. I believe the e-collar should be a motivator and not a punishment. You can see the way this dog reacts to it that, you know, it was used as a punishment. You can see how she's reacting at first when she when she doesn't realize that I'm even giving her the stem. She doesn't see the remote. I have it behind my back. You see a totally different dog than when I actually let her see the remote and it dawns on her what's going on. She she shuts down. It's a very obvious um, very obvious thing you're gonna see. So check out the the effects of bad e collar training. And then after this clip, I'm gonna show you a dog that's never had a bad experience with the e collar. Now I want you to know my the e collar she's on goes from one to a hundred. And I'm working her between an 8 and a 10. I'm trying to find her lowest working level. So somewhere between an 8 and a 10 out of 100. It's not on 30, 40, 50, 60. It's not shocking the dog. All I do is I push the button down. I apply the stem. Give her a command. And the instant she obeys that command, I stop hitting the stem. So this empowers the dog. She starts to figure out, hey, I have the power to turn off that annoying little feeling on my neck. The feeling of success is, um, it's a big morale booster for the dog. Good job. Is this going to shock me if I pet her while you're holding it? Okay. Honestly, you can't even feel that. Okay. Have a cat. Roll. Roll. Yes, good girl. <laughs> you get a couple treats. I'm going to run her a couple times. I'm going to run her a couple times. Huh? It's okay. I just bought a brand new bag. Of, uh, and I got bacon treats. Two. Oh, really? Yes, we're doing a lot with her. All right. Will you walk out and go to the front of my trailer? I got a bag of bacon treats for it. Okay. We'll work with her. Yeah. I will. Come on, baby. Uh, uh, uh. She said, that's my mom. Dad. Come get. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this a little bit because, um, you know, I don't want you to get bored with it. But you, you, you can obviously see once she realizes I got the remote in my hand, she starts to shut down. Every command I give her, no matter what it is, she lays straight down. That's the suppression from the tool being used as a punishment. So we go scurry through this real quick. Uh, fast forward if you need to. Next, Durga. I've, I've not used many tools at all on that dog. She's never seen an e-collar in her life. I want you to see the difference when the dog has, you know, a neutral reaction. She has no idea what that tool is, right? She she has no bad experience with it. That's going to show you um, it's not the tool that's bad. It's the way you use it. You won't see any of this shutting down shit uh, when I put it on Durga. I'm going to use it motivational. Um, the same way I used it with this dog. I'm going to hold the stem, give a command. When she reaches her goal, I release the stem and she gets a reward. So it empowers her in two different ways. One, she learns how to turn off that pressure. That's a reward in itself. And then two, as soon as she turns off that pressure, I give her a reward. So that's a second reward. And again, you know, Durga's working on a 10. I had this dog on an eight by the end of the session out of a hundred. You see this dog shut down, you will not see it with the other dog. So I did this just for the sake of this video. Um, I've not trained Durga with any tools really at all, like not even a collar. So she has no idea what this tool is for, or what it means. Start her out the exact same way. I hold the stem, tell her to place. As soon as her feet hit that board, I let go of the stem. When I tell her to bite, first I hold the stem, 
give her the command. When she bites, I let it go. All right. This is it's going to become a motivator. It's not a punishment. Um, when when the dog can have something that it can physically see or to physically touch them, they understand things much better. And what the e-collar essentially does is it allows you to touch the dog from a long distance away. I'm a big fan of the long lines, but me personally, I've been using them a long time and it's really hard to control anything over 15 feet. And to be honest, it's hard to control 15 feet sometimes. You know, you get slack in the line, your correction timings are a little bit off. You know, those small details matter. Uh, this e-collar, it, it allows you to have your timing on point. You can reach out and touch the dog from 100 yards away. It's a, it's a fantastic tool and dogs really do benefit from it. You see this dog is not suppressed in any shape, form, or fashion. Nothing like what you saw in that black dog in the beginning. And even with the black dog in the beginning having a bad experience with it, you saw her with positive reactions at first until she realized what was going on. And see, that's going to be something I have to go through to basically undo all the bad training from the past, the bad experience associated with it that's going to take repetitions. But you'll get to see how quickly she comes around from that. It's not going to take long. The... The whole point is to communicate with our dogs better. The point is not to punish them. It's not to cause them pain. Um, I have to admit, the, the point is to cause discomfort, but the mildest discomfort you can possibly give to where the dog feels uncomfortable, right, obviously. And without that, you cannot train a dog. You have to apply pressure and then relieve pressure and reward the dog for doing the right thing. Otherwise, you're just free shaping behaviors and you're hoping the dog decides to act right. If you're going to actually teach a dog to do anything or you know, to behave a certain way, you're going to have to apply some sort of pressure. And there is no such thing as purely positive dog training, but what I'm showing you right here is the closest thing you're ever going to see. Um, even the people that are just out there with their treats and shit, when they withhold that treat from their dog, that is aversive to the dog, right? It's applying pressure. If you take one step towards your dog when you tell him to sit, you're applying pressure. If you pull back on the leash when your dog tugs forward, you're applying pressure. Um, we have to use pressure to train our dogs, and the e-collar allows us to use such a minimal amount of pressure, it has outstanding effects if the tool is not abused so i'm going to put this in a series there's going to be a lot more to it i'm going to get a lot more detailed and of course i'm going to get you a better video make sure you like and subscribe hit the notification bell so you get the notifications